Page 34, the San Francisco trolley. Two pages long, sort of. Treble and bass glyph. Two four time signature. So there's two counts in a measure and counting quarter notes. We got eighth notes all over the place. So it's one in, two in, one in, two in. We've had this before. Let's so take it one hand at a time and make sure you have the right notes and rhythm. Starting with the right hand at the beginning, you have the G and the D. You're in this position. That's tied for two measures, so you do it again. Okay, the measure five, it's not tied anymore, it's just each measure gets it. And then measure seven. One and two and three. One. And that's about as tricky as it gets in the right hand. The left hand, on the other hand, let's see what's happening. This is a very common pattern for left hand, especially in boogie woogies. You'll get this. You get this. Rotating, I'm just transferring weight. Each, even from the C to the C sharp or the D to the C sharp, I'm still rotating here. It's a small motion, but you can hear. You get this pattern all over the place. Just bum, 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 bum. That's all I'm doing here. Put the hands together. Here, it's here. Right hand's tied now. I guess this is the bells or something on it. You put the hands together and then go back over the tricky spots and get rid of the hesitations. So these eighth notes are steady all the way through. We can think about the articulation. Don't give you a lot. I measure seven, your accents, staccato. Then connect it. This thing, you can connect this. The wheels turning around is all. You can connect them, except for, again, measure seven. It's a. hand there starting measure nine I'd connect all this connect this and this you don't have to you can put in the phrasing if you wanted so it's just like every three measures or so lift up lift up if you want to put in the phrasing that's fine you get to measure 21. It's a one and two and one and. That syncopation throws people. It's a. They think, ah, oh. well, if it bothers you, you're confused about it, then take out the tie and play all the notes here. One and two and one and. Just play all the notes. That's all. And then when you can do that, okay, and then you put the tie back in. You just hang on to the note rather than playing it. There. I'll measure 25. You have an accent on that note. That's fine. A little extra. Just play a little louder. As far as the dynamics go, this is going to be both hands, but really it's the right hand we want to hear. And this is soft, so this is... keep that left hand soft throughout. Now you're going to you have a crescendo there in third line, a third measure. You're going to gradually get louder. Well, you can't get louder on the right hand. You just, it dies away. But on measure five, you can play it louder, and then louder, and then measure seven, you're loud. With the accent, it makes that one note very loud. But the left hand, you can go, you can soft, louder, louder. So you're increasing in the left hand to, to help it out. And then measure nine, we want to hear the right hand. That's the melody. The left hand's got to go back in the background. Moderately loud until the end of measure 25, you go up to, to loud. The left hand come up, but the right hand or this first note is very loud. And then loud, and then you're ready to go down soft. So this is playing that out so you're getting softer. There's also a retardando there, we'll just slow down. 
Yes, the trolley slowed down to a stop. As far as the speed goes, well, sound it busy. You want the wheels to roll. But it has to be accurate and controlled. So it's up to you on how fast you're going to roll, huh? Now, a little bit about interpreting. Look on measure 21, you have this syncopation going on. It's syncopation because it throws the rhythm off just a little bit. Because we, we think it should be... Yeah? But we play the D a little quicker. Like, oh! And normally, when you do a syncopated note like that, the D is playing... You would accent it. They gave an accent, but in, even if they didn't give one, I'd still put one in because I'm interpreting it that way. With syncopated notes, you can give them a bit of an accent because they're they're throwing it off. They're throwing the beat off just a bit. That you know, it's like waking you up. So, accent them. All of these uh, dynamics and articulations and things, they're telling you how to interpret it. But you can do more than this, and that's what they're doing. They gave you the accent on measure 21. They're telling you to accent the syncopated note. But as I said, you just do it anyway, I hope. Let's play it together very slowly and double check the notes and rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics, we're going to play everything about the same. Now because we got eighth notes all over the place, I put the metronome on eighth notes. So it's beating eighth notes. So I'm going to give us four eighth note counts, one and, or ready and go and, that's four eighth notes. Now let's try it. Ready and go and. One. 